couple of hours later, it's time to go finish up Bell Ball. Bell Ball, this man of little cringes, Honkai Star Rail, hello little robot. Hi, Gerte. Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Oh, she got a breathy voice. Grand Hotel? Uh, hey, that's not very polite. <laughs> it's fine. You weren't the first guest to have that reaction. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Goethe family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. He started with Eventually, one brick. He actually did it. Yes, he started with one brick. Eventually, that brick had sex with another brick and it multiplied. Uh, have you seen that stylish Goethe hotel? Strictly speaking, it's a branch of this grand hotel. Well, the, the hotel we're looking at is built on the corpses of dead bricks. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. Why did you change the accent? No, 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 no. Hold up a second. <laughs> it's fine. You weren't the first guest to have that reaction. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Goethe family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. Eventually, he actually did it. Have you seen that stylish like, Goethe it's hotel? It's very chill. Strictly speaking, the, the accent is very it's small. a branch of this grand hotel. And then you listen Oleg to this one. wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. The, in every other line, it's chilled. And then you get to the last one. Ole wants me to give, take good care, y'all. Here's the key. Y'all be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Yeah, let's fuck off. <sighs> time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. Tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up to the Antimatter Legion. That Oleg, he seems sincere. What do you guys think? No comment. And Dan just looks. <laughs> Damn it, I was gonna say that. <laughs> oh, would you look at her? Blurting out something so irresponsible. Sure, Marsh, who's been telling everybody our life story. <sighs> A lot like you, actually. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. K keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I mean, before the uh, vagrants versus the West. former miners versus the robots versus the aliens. I mean, space cowboys kind of adding cowboys to the mix. Not, not really adding too much to the pot. Might as well throw a couple of them in there. Anyone else sleepy? How would you set us a good example, Dan? <sighs> sure. I don't have much need for sleep. I'll keep watch. Sure. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. The only thing that irritates me about this Branya. If you compare her to the Bronya from the end of Honkai, P Honkai Impact or Bronya from the end of a PHO She's lacking <laughs> I find you lacking bro You're lacking in a certain If you know what I'm saying Not really Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation We didn't see eye to eye on everything I've come to know a great deal in a short time Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a silver main guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. Wasn't she trying to arrest us for fuck all reason and now all of a sudden we act like we're best friends? I wouldn't be surprised if there are. Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. You have a lot to make amends for to us. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia, meaningless to talk about it and now. you still have the best of heart to madame kokolia even though there's no probable way 
were to have not known that she's fucking everybody in the underworld over when she sealed the place closed. Think, Bronya. Think. Where will we be five years from now? You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. Just be glad that that's the case or a certain dark uh it's called Kuriinu. The possibility of it happening out of sheer hatred is higher. Oh, I don't know what the fuck. Why am I more? Can you see food magazine? Investigate thing. Pins, paper, pot of black ink laid on the wooden table. You lean down slightly. Oh, it's me. You lean down slightly, trying to make out a mess of handwriting on the paper. Technology! <laughs> <laughs> so is it no wonder that people are afraid of technology. Technology! <laughs> technology in outer world might be outdated, but printing as a technique remains as prevalent as ever. Perhaps this establishment opted to handwrite its notes to give customers a warm feeling of being valued. This kind of thought only manages to make reading more difficult for you. As you scan over those polite and pointless words, your eyes start hurt. Finally, you find the most important part at the bottom of the page. Gertie, the owner, warmly invites you to rate our services. <laughs> ah, a great grading session, your favorite. You vaguely remember having this experience before while you're sitting in the back of the other taxi, flying from one place to in a city to another. How the fuck do you vaguely remember that? I thought you lost your memories. Uh, the pilot of the other taxi doesn't chat with you for the whole ride, not even offering the most cursory of greetings. But as you open the door and climb out, he suddenly says, "Please give me a five-star review." That nigga deserves a five-star review, bro. It, at the end of the day, if you do not bother me, you're winning. You're winning, bro. You're winning. Are you already giving me a good impression? No, you won't. You are the embodiment of impartiality. And you would never take a video on a test with a score of 49 and then change it to 54 pass. Uh, you strongly believe that good reviews are earned, not handed out. You look at this cheap room, you hear the walls wailing and see the cupboard trembling. Now you're the most impartial critic in the whole of the cosmos. Dear guests, please rate how comfortable the bed is in your room. Neutral. It's more than just average. Could even be used to define the concept of average. Dear guys, please rate the, rate the tea. Very satisfied. The best tea ever. It's possible you'll have to bring Dan Heng here a sample of this tea solely because you're convinced that he's someone who knows a lot about tea. Please rate the lightning and view. Very satisfied. Lightning and view. Very good. I think the room is exactly how you like it. Not too bright, not too dark, very comfortable. As for the view, it's well known courtesy of the dark uh, uh, You find the Boulder Town Street review very appealing. Are you evaluating the service here at Gotham Hotel? You may leave a comment in space below. We'll take your feedback seriously. Try our best to improve our service. Move, use memory foam next time. A comment coming with original content is always headache, but it better make but it's better to make it a multiple choice question. Ah! Ah! You successfully pass the comment component of the test. There's only one blank space left on this piece of paper. Possible, please leave your name so we can notify when we have discounts. Discounts? What a beautiful word! Let's write your esteemed name here then. Your family and friendly neighborhood, nameless. Your masterpiece is done. You've completed the single most unbiased service review in the history of the universe without a hint of any subjective emotion. You flip to the feedback card of the card that you've completed and discover a thick stack of identical cards. You are faced with several options. Finish. Now go over the whole review again. You come for the shop. May I suggest you buy some memory phone pillows of all the quotes? Pro quotes? Your signature, your favorite neighborhood neighbors. Your rating for the bed? Neutral. Rating for the tea? Very satisfied. Your rating for the lighting? Very satisfied. We are done. You put down a completed service evaluation card. Perhaps you should give it a straight, straight to Gertie to demonstrate your status as a valued guest. Can I? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Bed is a very soft, but this room feels more homey than the coldly decorated overworld hotel. So tired. Hope I can get a good night's sleep. I lost her. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all? And as usual, Kakolia is an idiot. You soulless.
this thing. How could you begin to fathom? You will never understand. Never! If this isn't crazy, bro, I don't know what to tell you. Man, Randy Orton used to walk down the WWE like red carpet with IF voices in my head, and all I could think to myself was, bro, you better get that shit checked out. All right, dumbass. How do you? How do like? If the voice again. If the voices in your head. Strange dream. If the voices in your head are telling you to eliminate everybody within a five mile radius, don't you think you should be questioning that shit? May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. It's called psychosis, bruh. I've played uh, what? What's the damn game? Let's check with psychosis. It looks like God of War. Who goes there? Show yourself. Oh, lucky you're cute. Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? I've been having nightmares recently. Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the eternal freeze? As a resident master of the Stellaron being inside a person, I'm pretty sure if we can't seal it normally, we just put it in me. Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? How did it sound reasonable, bro? We just got there. We just got uh, anybody who, who gets into a city and then gets arrested, just shipped away to the gulag. Like, I don't know, bro. We just got there. I don't know how bad things we could have done in the last three minutes could have been. She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. Yeah, sure. Be bothered. Yeah, totally. Yet, yeah, we're giving you friendly faces, we're helping you out, we made sure you didn't get Koro Inud, uh, Sasha style, so, yeah. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I like the fact that Naruto, which is the most heavily militaristic anime, well, there's code gears. Well, okay, let's go with that. Naruto is pretty heavily militaristic. So, when when you think of heavy militaristic, you think like people can't talk up, they can't question. But throughout Naruto, everyone was allowed to question a mission. Think about it. Maybe at one point, but that was Sarutobi. Don't ever count Sarutobi as someone you can question most of the time. Because I, I bet you, uh, the whole reason why Sakumo got off was because he was questioning too much. Stop asking questions. Only a fool follows orders blindly. Exactly. I don't need you to remind me. And I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. A sense of duty. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open. Passage between the surface and the underground ceased. You, you realize by not allowing people that decision. to go to the overground where there is sun, you're fucking them over, right? Especially since everything is kind of frozen. 
I don't suspect the underground to be any warmer than the overground. So everything seems kind of um, be giving them a, a slow, painful death. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. No shit. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. You should become the Supreme Guardian. She just looks mm -hmm. like a cute raccoon. That's but the, the style looks far more raccoon like than Kalis. And she looks really cute because of it. What was I thinking? No, I shouldn't. That was a diabolical thought. How dare you? But I saw it in my mind. The more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Let's work together. Maybe we can make a change. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. Walk it like a top. Walk it like a top. Walk it like a top. She has biker Bronya's hairstyle, which is kind of cool, but I mean... It's not topping a PHO Bronya, man, and we all know why. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place. With someone I'd only just gotten to know. We're best friends already. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, quieter things are around you, the louder they are. I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Usually when things are quiet, Still? I put a fan on for three hours. Whatever their situation, a crime Honestly. is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? By being completely neutral. How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. Um, um, they saw me. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Dangerous like to, to go alone. To Take this. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the dangerous last few days. Dangerous to go alone. Take this. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Dangerous to go alone. Take. No. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Former miners. Lives are on the line. Sounds like we arrived just on time. Huh? Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. Always willing to help, Miss Natasha. Grateful. It sounded far more flirty when it was careless. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. Uh, get sample to acquire some? You don't know him at all yet, do you? You can't rely on people like Sampo when it's important. I mean, he's been okay for us so far. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for one's health. I'm of the opposite opinion. Anger's very good for one's health. It keeps one very healthy. actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. 
After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. The story sounds very familiar. Familiar enough to me to correlate lines of... Remember Raven's little island that she took all the kids to? Yes, that one. Project Neverland. <laughs> oh, wrong island. Never mind. Ah, I brought up the wrong island. But, uh, yeah. And then all the kids were sent to Mars. No, the moon. They were sent to the moon. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You son of a bitch. I'm in. I don't know what I said. What did I say? You want to come as well? Oh. Well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. I'm afraid it's you two that will slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list Come. of materials we need. Well, hey, 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 for you, Nassas. <laughs> uh. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> Let me think. More also, chests. lastly, paint. Yep. These should be yep. a metal plate. Let's go. If we leave. More chests. We hadn't happened to be passing by. Were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. Of she lays so a very reckless. skill competent. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. I know that we're going to say we're more. We're here. This is Rivet Town. But I kind of want to get a move on. Everything looks familiar. Let's go. And watch your step. Hey, if it isn't a chick from Bloodborne. I also want to unlock relics and I want to unlock the MOC and simulated universe. That's the three most important things I want to unlock right now. Way over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. I'd like to retire here. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. Or oh, he was propositioning her. We will never know. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? Let's keep moving. Alright, you guys keep talking. I'll be talking to the kid that's uh, stuck in the window here. Who put that child in the window? Careful! Not yet. Enemies ahead. These aren't like vagrants. They won't... Don't treat me like a new recruit. I'm all too familiar with the monsters of the Fragmentum. Yeah, Let's I don't know about you, but these things are pretty weak. I hit them on my back and they die. Point proven. You're on. Point very, very, very proven. Reach the end of the story. Uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. Hi. Bye. Why do they get to attack first? Really That's something that irritates the shit out of me about this thing. You attack, you get the weakness, but you don't get to attack first. It all depends on your speed. But I'm still, I'm still on the, the, the opinion. Your own way. I forgot what I was saying. I had to read a message. Chest. Oh, you son of a bitch. Boy, that means I missed the chest. Give me a second. I need to grab that chest. There's it. I knew I was That's missing good. something. The facility Smash. here seem to be in pretty Smash. good Smash shape. Everything. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. I'm now that come, you mention it, back. it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible. 
Fag, fag, fag. There's a bunch of creeps. Thanks. I'm going to camp. Let's rock. I'm asking questions. My turn. End it. Yeah. I'm just getting energy so that when we get to it, the eventual boss, where the fuck did he come from? Oh no, oh when hell no, I'm not letting you attack first. Oh hell no, bro. Oh hell no, I'm not letting you attack first. I will not give you that, that satisfaction. Are made to be broken. You are mistaken, dear sir. You will fucking teleport in front of me and then you think I'm just going to let that slide? No, sir. No, I will not let that slide. Got him. What, we need what, a uh, what elements do I need? I need Dr. Ratio, uh, Cryo, Quantum, Fire. Fine. For the fire. Fire. He's gonna get that dot. Everyone's a customer. Boom! Your answers? This dude so far. Doctor Ratio at the beginning of this game is that one thing that kind of obliterates the beginning of this game. Zero points. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Oh man, I pressed the wrong one. And he's dead. Oh, he's dead. He survived. Sheesh. Forget your wallet. Who do you think you are, bitch? Die. I'm asking questions. And Doctor Ratio. Zero points. Let's go. Turn out your pockets. And boom. Good knife at the beginning of the game also kind of really slaughters. What something that I need to remind myself. Looks like we struck gold. Is good knife at higher levels. Uh, uh, at, at the lower level area of the game. Wait, you don't really have any dark characters. I mean, very few people had sample here. At least I didn't have sample here. Yet. And I have every four star character in the game. Overloaded Taco is every five star character in the game. That dude really went through a lot of effort to get all the fucking characters in the game. I was like, nah, I'm fine. Time to do a thing. Do a damn thing, da 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 da. Sheesh. There's no obstacles in the way. There's, there's no obstacles in the way. Am I the obstacle? Fuck off. Damn robots. This is why I'm gonna obliterate Swara when I see him. Yeah. You wanted to throw something at me? But unfortunately for him, I threw first. Everyone's a customer. That should, that should take him out. Oh, close. Boom! Told you I could fight. And Dr. Aisha finishes it. Fatality. Um, where's the chest? Yeah, don't be hiding my chest Whoa. from me. Looks like we struck gold. Whoa! Gold indeed. Depends on how much gems I have. Close. Close to another pool. Sure. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. The only thing that irritates me about this Branya is if you compare her to the Branya from the end of Honkai, P Honkai Impact or Branya from the end of a PHO. She's lacking. <laughs> I find you lacking, bro. You're lacking in a certain... If you know what I'm saying.